briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1973, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case National Labor Relations Board v. Boeing Company, which focused on the role of the National Labor Relations Board, NLRB, in managing unions' internal affairs and the determination of union fines reasonableness. The case arose from a dispute between a union and a company over fines imposed on union members who returned to work during a strike that lasted from May 16, 1963 to September 15, 1965. Following the signing of a new collective bargaining agreement on October 2, 1965, the strikers went back to work. The issue at hand was whether the NLRB had to evaluate the reasonableness of union fines when determining if they constituted an unfair labor practice. The company challenged the validity of the fines, but the NLRB held that the fines were valid, even if they were unreasonably large. The Court of Appeals disagreed, stating that large fines were coercive and violated the National Labor Relations Act. Ultimately, the Supreme Court sided with the NLRB, ruling that it did not need to assess the reasonableness of union fines when determining if they constituted an unfair labor practice. Instead, the court granted state courts the authority to determine fine reasonableness based on state law and their expertise, as the board lacked such authority. The court's decision clarified that union fines reasonableness should be determined by competent forums like state courts, according to applicable legal principles. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.